नमस्कार आई एम डी वेलकम्स यू इन इट्स डेली वेदर ब्रीफिंग प्रोग्राम टुडे इज ट्वेंटी फोर्थ जुलाई ए बी सी एस टडे इज रियलाइज हैवी रेनफॉल सो मेन जोन ऑफ हैवी रेनफॉल वाज वेस्ट कोस्ट स्पेशली गुजरात रीजन सौराष्ट्र कच्छ कोंकण गोवा घाटी रेज ऑफ मध्य महाराष्ट्र कोस्टल एंड साउथ इंटर कर्नाटका इन एडिशन टू दिस अदर जोन वाज सेंट्रल एड जोन ईस्टर्न पार्ट ऑफ द कंट्री इंक्लूडिंग ईस्ट मध्य प्रदेश छत्तीसगढ़ विदर्भा and some pockets of rajasthan especially east rajasthan also reported very heavy rainfall in northwest india one john uh, fabi to very heavy rainfall with extremely heavy rainfall at isolated locations reported over south west uttar pradesh so accordingly we can say that uh, red color is shows here extremely heavy rainfall orange color shows very heavy rainfall and yellow color shows heavy rainfall as already mentioned why extremely heavy rainfall we mean rainfall cumulative rainfall of 24 hours more than 20 cm at one or more stations and very heavy rainfall we mean rainfall in the range of 11 more than 11 cm and less than 20 cm at one station or more and heavy rainfall we mean cumulative rainfall of 24 hours in between 7 cm to 11 cm so accordingly we have given yellow orange and red color as regards uh, uh, the quantitative values gujarat in gujarat south gujarat region surat reported uh, 30 cm followed by west uttar pradesh in uh, south west uttar pradesh lalitpur reported 27 cm in madhya maharashtra pune lonavala reported 27 cm saurashtra kach junagadh reported 22 cm now l- these are the synoptic systems prevailing today so this is uh, at uh, surface level so this is surface level features so at surface we have two features one is the monsoon trough seasonal monsoon trough and another is the offshore trough so offshore trough for now runs from south gujarat coast to north kerala coast at mean sea level and uh, monsoon trough runs from bikaner and then goes to gwalior and then daltonganj then canning and then uh, south eastwards to uh, north east bay of bengal now these are the remaining uh, synoptic systems which are seen over upper levels so there is a cyclone circulation at lower levels over uh, northern parts of gujarat another cyclone circulation over jharkhand and uh, which is extends up to middle troposphere level tilting south west towards with height and there is a uh, shear zone in lower and middle troposphere levels roughly uh, around 21 degree north over north peninsula adjoining central parts of the country and another cyclone circulation over northeast assam so these are the features of upper air circulations now we will discuss uh, today's highlights so exceptionally heavy rainfall with heavy to very heavy rainfall at a few places is expected today over gujarat region there is a possibility that, that rainfall uh, cumulative rainfall can exceed uh, 40 cm at one or two stations and uh, then uh, another highlight for this is that uh, extremely heavy rainfall that is rainfall more than 20 cm is expected over gujarat state konkan goa madhya maharashtra uh during next two days and heavy to very rain fall uh, subsequent uh, uh, next 3 uh, 4 uh, days and second point is that very rain fall is expected to continue over central parts of the country including madhya pradesh uh, during next two days and heavy rain fall uh, uh, subsequent 3 days so these are two highlights so the important point is that exceptionally heavy rain fall uh, uh is expected over uh, gujarat region especially south gujarat gujarat region so necessary precautions are requested uh, from uh, uh, public side also and now these are the uh, day one day two up to day five weather warning so this is uh, weather warning valid for uh, next 24 hours that is up to 8 30 hours ist of tomorrow that is 25th july so according to red red color is given to gujarat state konkan goa and madhya maharashtra where extreme rain fall is expected Uh, especially south gujarat including south part of saurashtra and south parts of gujarat south and central adjoining central so where uh, main rain is expected and uh, konkan goa and ghati area of madhya maharashtra where extremely rain fall today is expected accordingly accordingly red color is given to those areas and very heavy rain fall is expected to continue over madhya pradesh eastern parts of rajasthan western parts of uttar pradesh and adjoining regions of chatisgarh and odisha where very heavy rain fall is expected and heavy rain fall is expected over vidarbha marathwada telangana north inter karnataka in south western india coastal and south south inter karnataka also expected to receive uh, very heavy rain fall today and kerala is expected to heavy rain fall over remaining parts of east india 
Jharkhand and Gangetic West Bengal is also likely to receive heavy rainfall today over northeast India, Arunachal Pradesh, Assam Meghalaya, Nagaland, Minipur, Mizoram, Tripura, and Arjun regions of Southern and West Bengal and Sikkim also likely to get heavy rainfall today. Over remaining parts of northeast India, heavy rainfall today is expected over Himachal Pradesh, Uttarakhand, Punjab, Haryana, and western parts of Rajasthan. As already mentioned, western parts of Uttar Pradesh and eastern parts of Rajasthan is expected to receive very heavy rainfall. Now we will discuss uh, tomorrow's uh, rainfall burning. So again the same activity, uh, extremely heavy rainfall is expected to continue over Gujarat state and Ghati region of Madhya Maharashtra and very heavy rainfall is expected to continue over Konkan Goa and coastal Karnataka. Over remaining parts of South Central India, North Central Karnataka, South Central Karnataka and also Kerala likely to continue to witness heavy rainfall and coastal Andhra Pradesh also likely to get heavy rainfall on 25th of July. Over central parts of the country, Madhya Pradesh likely to continue very heavy rainfall and Vidarbha and Chhattisgarh heavy rainfall. Over North West India, Eastern parts of Rajasthan, Punjab, Haryana, Himachal Pradesh, Uttarakhand and Uttar Pradesh likely to receive heavy rainfall on 25th of July. And over eastern parts of the country, Odisha likely to continue to receive very heavy rainfall and remaining parts of East India including Gangetic West Bengal, Sikkim, Samaland West Bengal and over Bihar, Bihar light to moderate rainfall at a fairly wide to widespread rainfall is expected. And North East India, no heavy rainfall is issued, only scattered to fairly widespread light to moderate rainfall is expected to continue. So this is weather warning for 25th of July. Now we will discuss 26th July weather warning. Again, this intensity of the rainfall likely to decrease little bit with possibility of very heavy rainfall over Gujarat state, Konkan Goa and Ghati area of Madhya Maharashtra and heavy rainfall is expected over Karnataka, Kerala and coastal Andhra Pradesh and over central parts of the country, Vidarbha, Chhattisgarh, Madhya Pradesh likely to receive heavy rainfall and East Rajasthan, western parts of Uttar Pradesh, Himachal Pradesh, Uttarakhand likely to experience heavy rainfall on 26th of July. And uh, over eastern parts of the country, Odisha continue to receive very heavy rainfall and remaining parts of uh, East India continue to receive uh, scattered to fairly widespread rainfall, light to moderate rainfall and over North East India, no heavy, heavy rainfall is issued for 26th of July. On 27th July, the very heavy rainfall is spread continue over Gujarat state, Konkan Goa, Ghati, Raja, Madhya Maharashtra and over South Central India, no heavy rainfall warning has been issued or any parts of the South Central India except the coastal Karnataka and Kerala where heavy rainfall is expected. Over central parts of the country, Madhya Pradesh and Chhattisgarh continue to receive heavy rainfall on 27th of July. Over East India, Odisha continue to receive heavy rainfall with a possibility of decrease in intensity on 27th. And over remaining parts of East India, light to moderate rainfall is scattered fairly widespread rainfall is expected to continue. Over North East India, a fresh spell of heavy rainfall is expected to commence on 27th of July with possibility of heavy rainfall. Over Arunachal Pradesh, Assam Meghalaya, Nagaland, Manipur, Mizoram, Tripura, and somewhere in West Bengal, Sikkim. And uh, on 28th of July, the activity of heavy rainfall is expected to continue over Madhya Pradesh and Chhattisgarh. And over uh, remaining parts of South Western India, no heavy rainfall warning has been issued for 28th of July. And over West India, Konkan Goa, Madhya Maharashtra, heavy rainfall and Gujarat state to receive very heavy rainfall on 28th of July as well. Over North West India, eastern parts of Rajasthan, Himachal Pradesh and Uttarakhand continue to receive heavy rainfall. And remaining parts of North West India scattered to fairly widespread rainfall, light to moderate is expected. Over North East India, the activity uh, is uh, uh, continue on 28th. So this is weather warning for next 5 days, especially heavy rainfall warning. Now these are the fisherman burning graphics which are available at rsmcnewdelhi.imd.gov.in and uh, accordingly uh, main zone of fisherman burning today is Gujarat and Maharashtra coast with possibility of 50 to 60 gusting to 70 kmph and today and uh, tomorrow and thereafter uh, 45 to 55 gusting to 65 kmph is expected uh, during subsequent 3 days. So this is a fisherman warning mainly for Maharashtra and Gujarat coast and uh, our east coast this Odisha, North Andhra Pradesh coast uh, whether uh, fisherman warning has been issued uh, for uh, uh, during next 3-4 uh, days and the uh, details are available at uh, already mentioned at rsmcnewdelhi.imd.gov.in and also uh, our uh, official uh, website of mosom.imd.gov.in you can refer for details of fisherman burning. In summary, we can summarize 
that exceptionally heavy rainfall with possibility of rainfall more than 40 cm today is expected over south Gujarat region and with possibility of extremely heavy rainfall continuation over Saurashtra, Kutch, Konkan, Goa, Ghati region of Madhya Maharashtra during next two days with possibility of very heavy rainfall during subsequent three days and heavy rainfall is well likely to continue over central India with possibility of very heavy rainfall over Madhya Pradesh and Chhattisgarh during next two days and heavy rainfall subsequent three days. Over northwest India again heavy rainfall is well likely to continue during next two three days and light to moderate rainfall subsequent three days. So this is summary for today's. We will update tomorrow. Till then Namaskar Jain Jai Bharat.